sorry for the technical uh, delay. I am, uh, today is Wednesday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I'd like to call it a winner of the meeting of uh, the Philadelphia City Commissioners. We are going to begin today's meeting with new business and we will call uh, Garrett up for new business. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so, the bell is going uh, Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I'm just going to go over some quick procedures regarding bell drawing uh, before we begin. Um, each candidate who filed nomination petitions for a local office will have the opportunity to draw a lot to determine their ballot position on the 2021 primary ballot. For those candidates who wish to use a proxy to draw for their ballot position, the candidate must authorize the selected individual by filing a proxy form with the County Board of Elections. Candidates who draw number one will be placed first on the ballot, those that draw number two will be placed second, and so on. We will proceed through the candidate list beginning with citywide offices. Then we will proceed with judge and inspector of election races, beginning with the majority party, which holds the governor's office, the Democratic Party. We will prioritize races where the candidate or candidate proxy is ready to draw. We will draw judge and inspector of election races in board and division order. In races where a candidate or proxy is present, the candidate who has the earliest time stamp on their nomination petition will draw first, regardless of whether the candidate or candidate's proxy with the earlier time stamp is present. For offices drawn this way, if the candidate or candidate's proxy is not present, a county board of elections employee will draw on their behalf. For judge and inspector of election races where there are no candidate or candidate's proxy ready to draw, we will use a random function in Excel to assign ballot positions. The Excel function will only be used for races where no individual has already drawn. The Excel spreadsheet will randomly assign a number between zero and one to each candidate. The candidate with the largest number will be assigned the first position on the ballot. The candidate with the second largest number will be assigned the second position and so on. Once ballot positions have been drawn either in person or through Excel, we will not redraw for any reason. And with that, I think we can start. So to file um, COVID guidelines and to maintain a, a six foot distance, uh, we have a modified version of the coffee can of destiny here. And we'll have Carlos Vega uh, come up first to draw for the Democratic nomination for this attorney. We're going to have candidates that draw from the can to, uh, if you don't mind, putting on a sandwich bowl first. Oh, excellent. I'm a two-handed kind of guy. Uh, Here. This uh, gentleman here is number one. Position number one. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Next candidate is Larry Krasner. Judge and Inspector of Election Races. Uh, in Warden Division Order for candidates or candidate proxies that um, are in attendance. So I 
to bring the first group back into the group.
bring it down a little lower. Exactly. Question number one. Uh, the big one. Yes, Alright, All right. so uh, Philip draws position number two. I have you can draw all of those one. The ball. Alright. And Edna draws position number one for Judge of Election for Ward 14, Division 10. Okay. Right. Drawing for his judge of election in Ward 39, Division 30.
get out of the way so I can just keep driving. Thank you. 
which means Janice Garrett uh, gets position number two for Inspector of Election Board 50, Division 6. Thank you. Say that again. No, 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 no. So, you got the Inspector of Election for Ward 50, Division 19. Uh, there's a Gloria Clark who is not present. We should draw first. So I'll draw Gloria's behalf, and then Addie Ward will draw second. for their uh, for the work this morning. 
And I also would like the record to reflect that Commissioner Sabir's presence uh, via telephone and the presence of Commissioner Sabir's deputy, um, Devin Gupta. Thank you. So we will now um, proceed with the meeting. And we will uh, hear uh, any public comment. If there's anybody here for public comment. Hearing none, we will uh, proceed to a report from the Secretary, uh, Sabir, for any email public comment. Nomination papers can be circulated between March 10th and August 2nd. Further information is available on our website. Access to City Hall can be made by appointment or by email in Philly election at philly.philly.gov or calling 215-686-3469. We are currently accepting absentee or mail-in ballot applications online at ghostpa.com or by paper application. As of yesterday, we have approved 2,221 vote by mail applications. Of those, of those 44,223 are paper applications, and 7,998 are electronic applications. With yesterday's mail, we have approximately 1,200 paper mail-in applications outstanding and 239 online mail-in applications outstanding. They should be processed by the end of business today. Yesterday was the deadline to file objections to nomination petitions. There were no objections filed for the local candidates. However, there were several challenges to, to traditional candidates running in Philadelphia County. One, one judge of Superior Court candidate, six court, court of Common Pleas candidates, and four municipal candidates had their candidacy challenged. Each challenge will be, will be heard in Commonwealth Court. The voter registration unit, for the election cycle to date, we have processed 88,713 applications, of which 6,600 6, were paper. All registrations are up to date. Imaging, data, and correspondence are processing online and paper mail on applications. This past week, the registration unit has assisted in 17 people in checking the nomination petitions. The election board last week, 137 Workers were trained at the Carpenters Union Hall from 311 to 314. So far this week, 68 border workers were trained at Esperanza, that was for 315 and 316, and 161 were trained at Masterman for 315 and 316. The unit is still making calls to the potential, for potential workers. Election activities, preparing material for the primary and assisting in the, in the opening of all the paper mail that is applications that come in. Polling place unit is securing and surveying polling places for elected That's all I have, Commissioner. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Does anyone have any more new business? Anyone? Okay. Um, here, having no more business, um, I call for a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 
All in favor? Aye. This meeting is adjourned to the call of the chair. Thank you, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day.